Bro, look at that! Look at that! That is so tight! What's going on guys, it's JJ here, back with another video, and today we are going to take a look at the best basketball atmospheres in Europe. We did a video like this where we looked at the Aris Greek 3, uh, well I guess the Super 3, and their absolutely amazing atmospheres that they have. Obviously Greek basketball is kind of, not the pinnacle in Europe, but one of the most highest, uh, highly touted uh, with all of the players that end up coming through Greek in Europe, or even that go through Spain, or that go through Italy, uh, essentially the atmospheres that they have to reach up to are the ones of the amazing Greek hooligans. So you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on the basketball atmosphere in Europe. Does it compare to the NBA? Is it... I, I think it's a bit more ultra-like in Europe and in Greece uh, necessarily than what the NBA is, where it's a bit more pedestrian, where for the entertainment, not for the, the spectacle or the atmosphere. So you guys gotta let me know your thoughts though, and let's get into the video. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. I feel like I've seen a video like this, but just listen to that noise. The noise is so sick. <laughs> Imagine like a Duke basketball game with this type of atmosphere. It would be crazy. Like, I get USA Basketball could be like this if it wanted to be. But I feel like that's just college. Like, when we get to the professional level, like what these are at, it's nothing like it. Just the flares in general are just so sick. Imagine. Oh, I mean, I guess Duke does something like this. Not this, though. Was this Red Star Belgrade? <laughs> it makes it like a footballing game. It, it makes it like an ultras. It's an ultras game in a nutshell. It is so sick. So this is a lot smaller of a stadium. This is more of a college feel. This is 100% more of a college basketball feel. Oh, and they're still just going crazy. I'm just willing to bet that this is in Greece as well. Still lighting up literal flares in the stadium, which is so damn sick.
Palestine. Interesting. Ooh. Also in Greece. Also in Greece. Look at that. Just look at the sheer size of like the stadium with the amount of fans that they have packed into it. It's golden. This is the same stadium? This is that same stadium. I, so this reminds me of like the Syracuse, if you guys know it, then I guess you'll know it. Uh, well, I guess the Syracuse Stadium, why can I not think of it for the life of me? Carrier Dome, yeah, the Carrier Dome. This is what that reminds me of. Not as big, nowhere near as big. But this is what it reminds me of. Carrier Dome, this 100,000 plus. And they got the strings for Tifos and stuff too. This is in Turkey? This is in Turkey? This is dope. Turkish Basketball Super League Arenas. Istanbul. Istanbul Basketball. I'm with this. Is this Galatasaray or is it... Istanbul sucks in here. I hope I'm saying it correct. They got a mini blimp in the stadium? That's gotta be virtual. There's no way that's actually real. That has to be virtual, otherwise that's so sick. I love how they know as soon as the tip-off goes up that that's how the one guy literally was just on his way off the court before it even happened. No, oh, they just gotta sweep it up. That but yeah guys, that is the end of the video. You guys gotta let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Obviously, these are the best basketball atmospheres in Europe at the moment. Some of this some very unbelievable stuff that we actually got to see, but thank you guys once again. Obviously, let me know if you guys want to see more specific teams or leagues or whatever. Let me know, and I will get to those videos in the meantime. Thank you guys once again, and peace.